Oh boy. Oh. Yikes. That. She's not happy right now. She's not Alfie. happy. Riley McCusker is a world champion and four-time Pan American Games medalist. At the beginning of 2020, Riley switched gyms amidst accusations of emotional and physical abuse against her former coach. After a one-and-a-half-year competition break, the American gymnast returned at the 2021 Winter Cup to perform on all events except floor. She had a couple of big mistakes on the balance beam, but a solid performance overall to start the season. McCusker also looked physically and emotionally in a better place than in previous years. She was also working on upgrading her floor routine, which would now include some major age skills. Three months later, at the 2021 GK US Classic, Riley was planning on competing on all four events, but after a bad landing on vault, she withdrew from the rest of the competition. There were no updates on the status of her injury for several days, nor whether she would still be able to compete in the upcoming meets. McCusker finally announced she had sustained an ankle injury and was limited to bars for the US Championships, which would take place two weeks after Classics. She had great performances on both nights and ended up winning the silver medal and qualifying for the Olympic trials. Riley is currently training for a spot on the 2021 American Olympic team. Lori Hernandez was a member of the gold medal winning team at the 2016 Rio Olympics, the Final Five. She also went home with the balance beam silver medal. Lori took two years off gymnastics and returned to training in October 2018 with hopes of making the next Olympic team. In August 2019, she was training five hours per day, six days a week. After a four and a half year hiatus, Hernandez made her competitive comeback at the 2021 Winter Cup where she hit a clean beam routine and had a solid performance on a downgraded floor routine. At the GK Classic, she was dealing with a setback from training and only performed on beam and vault. Despite a fall on beam, the 20-year-old gymnast had a solid performance overall, but her routines were still very much downgraded. Two weeks later, at the US National Championships, Lori hyperextended her left knee while warming up a balance beam dismount. She still performed on that same event on day one with a heavily wrapped knee, but pulled out from the rest of the competition. Lori was not added to the national team, nor did she qualify to compete at the 2021 Olympic Trials. There's no word on whether the American gymnast will keep training for Worlds later this year or retire from Elite. Lori will be joining Simone Biles and many other athletes in the Gold Over America Tour starting in September. Jessica Ortiz is a Pacific Rim Championships vault silver medalist and a South American Championships floor champion. At the 2009 Worlds, the athlete qualified in sixth place for the floor final. But during the apparatus final, the Colombian gymnast had a terrifying fall when she landed on her head while performing her second tumbling pass. She was immediately assisted by her coach and medical staff and provided with a neck brace. Jessica was carried off on a stretcher and taken to the hospital, but the initial prognosis was that the injury was not too serious. She received a 2.975 score and finished the final in 8th place due to being unable to complete her routine. Luckily, Jessica was able to fully recover from the incident and made her return to competition one year later to claim the vault bronze medal at the 2010 Pan American Championships. She also participated in the 2012 London Olympics. <laughs> 